Hi, today I want to talk about uh, ground vehicles, how to place them, how to place the routings and how they work. Um, a lot of uh, you or all of you know the basics already. I just want to highlight the most common mistakes we see. And um, for this, I picked uh, Egelsbach again. Um, airport was done by me a long time ago, improved by others in the meantime. So most of the things I'm pointing out as wrong are probably my old mistakes. I'm going to unlock the ground vehicles. I'm going to unlock the ground routes. And um, one thing that you will see is if I try to change the ground routes now, well, here it works. But if it for some odd reason doesn't work for you, um, you really need to unlock the taxi routes as well. There's a little bug where you sometimes can't move the ground routes until you also unlock the taxi routes as well. And to see what uh, you do, click on taxi routes and then you can see um, what's happening. And most importantly, you can see the width of uh, these taxi routes. Uh, that's what explain plans. And for example, down here, you see that uh, the trucks on this route will pass through the nose of these parked aircraft. So immediately you see that it should be further over here to clear the parked aircraft. Otherwise, it looks dumb. It's another thing uh, over here. I already moved that, but uh, previously it was like this. And it's, even though it looks like the taxi, the route for the ground trucks is on the pavement, it actually, you know, the ones that pass this way will work or they will, they will stay on the pavement, but these ones over here won't. And if you say, hey, I want them to stay, you know, beyond this wide line, you can really see that it doesn't really work because otherwise, you know, the ones that go the opposite direction will be on the grass and um, they don't take up all of the space, but uh, you need to often shoehorn ground routes in um, between and you will, you know, compromise to make it look nice. Same thing over here. You see, okay, the airplanes will, you know, take up all the space all the way over here where the yellow edge is and the ground trucks will also go here. Um, how, how can we deconflict them? Well, if you move the ground route over here, uh, they will pass through these parked airplanes. That's just no go. And in the real world, they will cooperate and, you know, the ground truck driver will look and see there's a plane coming down here. So it won't, uh, you know, run into the plane. Uh, the ground trucks and next plane, unfortunately, are not very smart. They um, don't know about uh, objects. They don't know about parked airplanes and they will often clip through stuff. We have to wait until Lamina improves that logic. Do not code around that. Do not try to, you know, make intricate paths so that they pass around all these airplanes. They need to learn by themselves, so to say. What you can do is you can utilize these white helper lines that explain draws. And you can see, for example, if you just make it like this, then, um, you know, the, the ground truck will stop here and then it will start beelining over here to his initial point from where it approaches the aircraft and you can help it by, you know, drawing the line over here. And now it has a good uh, path to follow over here, over here. And um, that's what you should do um, to, you know, the same thing over here. See, there's no path to this airplane. Uh, the ground trucks have to leave over here. And if there's a plane parked here, it would, they would uh, go right through that. So if you go like this, then now they have a path to go and um, that's that's something that you need to consider. Now, of course, if planes are parked closely like this, there's just no good way for the trucks to go through them. And that's just what we have to accept for now. Um, but use these helper lines. You have the yellow ones here for the planes as they go. They would go over here and then, you know, turn around and park. But um, you want to make sure in general that these white little helper lines that, that show you how the, the ground trucks will move eventually, that they don't pass through stuff. And um, one way to do that, for example, would be to go like this here. And then, you know, now you have good approach paths to all these uh, parked planes. Now you see, I just joined these two here. Um, the question is, why are there even two segments? Uh, I think we do not need this one here. So delete it, pull this one up here. Back then, and of course, if you join two nodes, always see we have two nodes here, you need to merge them. Control, Shift, M. Now they're merged and now the 
uh, ground trucks can use them as just one node here. Um, back then what happened is uh, you would have to have a node and the, the ground trucks could only leave the routing at the node and this is not the case anymore so now what you want to do is you want to avoid making nodes like um, the devil avoids the holy water so try to make straight long segments you know that the, the maximum length you can do a segment is five meters otherwise wet will reject it or complain um, so you know it's tempting to you know follow the path with you know, lots of lots of nodes to make the trucks go smoothly along curves or so mm -hmm. try to refrain from doing that even this one is, is doubtful i would actually remove this one and just go like this Control shift m and then if you have to you know make it move it a little over here so but you know you get you get the drift make just one long segment wherever possible same thing here see we have many segments here that's just not necessary uh, delete this one draw this one out up here and um, then you have less segments the less segments you have the better you don't need to do that in the same of course for the ai uh, aircraft taxi route see we have one segment here one segment here totally not necessary just draw this one segment out all the way over here and um, see what what happens here there's a there's a line for this one so the, this plane if it wants to park here will go all the way up here and then taxi through this hangar over here to get to this position of course you can help avoid that if you if you pull this back and you see at some point well see we would go like this at, at this point the plane will finally give up and say yeah i just you know go from over here and um of course this makes it difficult for these airplanes so use these helper lines see and you can now see that you really want to make another line um for this airplane uh, you know probably going from here to here to help it get to this spot and this way you can spot inconsistencies and spot problems with your ground trucks and also with your airplanes um, try to avoid that and of course test 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 when you're done run your run your simulator look at the ground trucks look at the ai aircraft go and uh, catch them do stupid stuff and try to uh, avoid that but as i said before there's just some things that you can't avoid don't uh, give in to the temptation to give them really micromanaging instructions where to go um, next thing is uh, ground uh, destinations um, on this airport they're placed correctly there's one here called i called it the fuel truck destination you can see it's for all the fuel trucks the jets the liners and the props so what happens is the fuel truck there's one parked here once in a while it will say hey i want to go to my destination so it starts taxiing down here or going down here parking at the destination for a, for a few seconds it looks like it's getting fuel from the fuel station then it goes back to its parking spot and parks it doesn't go to the airplane and that's not what the destination is for don't put the destinations near the airplanes to say hey i want the fuel truck to go to the you know parked planes it looks like it fills them up that they will do that automatically when the planes are used by the ai if you have ai aircraft running and one is parked here it will summon the ground vehicles and the ground vehicles will actually travel along the path to to get here and and act like they fuel the aircraft and then go back um, the same when you use a plane and you call the ground trucks they will come to you but you do not use the destinations for that the destinations are what i would call service destinations that's where they go to get fuel where the baggage truck goes to drop off the baggage and i have one over here i think i call the universal ground truck destination and that's for for everyone else the, the baggage loader baggage train crew car crew limo and so on catering trucks they all go here once in a while to make the airport look busy of course if you have a big airport with a with a, with a catering department you know just place the destinations for the catering trucks to to that catering department where they get the, f the food and then once the planes call them they will go to the planes by themselves do not put the destination by the planes and or if you have a baggage train destination inside uh, the terminal make a little you know the little gateways uh, you know, the little gates where the, the trucks can run in and the baggage carts and they drop off the the luggage in the terminal for the passengers to get them they will get them by the play at the planes by themselves you don't need destinations there so that's an important distinction to make um, to place destinations. 
Okay, I think this uh, covers the ground truck so so far. One last thing is they, they do rear into their parking spot. So you can put them right by the buildings. And that way they're out of the way of, of you know other uh, cars going, of uh, planes going. That really saves space. They used to circle around and then you would need to put them like this so that it wouldn't look stupid. And then they would circle around and, and you know, approach their parking spots, uh, you know, facing front. Uh, now they rear into their parking spot so you can save space, parking space, by making them stay uh, close to buildings. Uh, that really helps. One, uh, you know, these these guys don't do it. Which whichever cars drag something like the ground uh, power or the the baggage cars, they still go in a circle around. So these guys, you still need to, you know, place like this, so they have space to go around and then park uh, regular. But most of the other trucks, like this car, for example, we could uh, park it right here, and it will just rear into the parking spot really nice staying out of the way and that way it's easier to organize traffic and um, make it make it work okay hope you have uh, fun placing the ground trucks and give julian less headaches